Hello students, we, on behalf of Mobile Science Lab, we have come with another experiment. Today we will explain about how to map magnetic lines of force and also how to no locate the neutral points. Now Isharadi will explain about the apparatus which is required for the experiment. So now which apparatus are required, see now here, first one is pencil. Second one, bar magnet. Third one, rubber or eraser. Next, fourth one, compass needle. Next, scale. Last one is, one more is white sheet. How to do the experiment? Sridhar will explain. Yeah, B before starting the experiment, we have to locate the geographical north and south pole. We all know that a magnetic needle, when kept, when suspended freely, points to the north and south pole direction. We take a magnetic needle and place it at one near to the edge of the paper and leave it there. So when we do that, what happens is the after some after small period of time it will come to rest and the needle will point in one particular direction the head of the needle will give you the direction of north and the tail of the needle will give you the direction of south that is this is the geographical north and this is the geographical south now first we mark that before starting before starting the experiment now we take the bar magnet and on the bar magnet we have two poles, one is north pole, the other one is south pole. So now the first part of the experiment is to locate the neutral points when north pole of the mark magnet faces the geographical north. So I, I have to place in this particular direction because this is the north pole and north pole of the bar magnet must lie along the north pole of the magnet. North pole of the needle is pointing towards north pole. The magnet north pole also must face along the north pole of the particular needle. That is the first requirement of the experiment. Now I trace out the outline of the bar magnet. After tracing the bar magnet, I remove the magnet and write the pole accordingly. Now I replace the mag magnet as I have done uh, as it was before. Now I begin to plot the magnetic lines of force. Mr. Reddy will take out how we we'll trace the plot, plot of the magnetic needle along the we will continue doing this experiment. First, we'll see this one. First, instantly, just put the dot. Here. Dot at the tip of the magnetic the tip of the needle. magnetic needle. So, at the head, we again make a point. Then we then, next to, to change the. Then we again the place it, place the tail of the needle on the previous head. We continue in this process, and uh, we see that the magnetic lines of force start from north pole and reach the south pole. On the other side of the magnet, we, we take, we plot the points near the poles similarly. The tail of the magnet is plotted, now the head is plotted. Again we place on the head of the previous point the tail of the magnet and now he is proceeding in that manner. So like that we take two lines on both sides, he is going to join the points which he has plotted using a pen. And he is going to mark the direction which is from 
north to south he is going to do the same thing on the other side of the magnet one more uh, he is going to join the points now again we see that the magnetic line of force is from north pointing from north pole to south pole so one more point he is going to take near the north pole the direction of the needle is point is slowly pointing towards the south pole so in this way he has plotted two lines on the on one side and is continuing to plot two more points i mean two more lines on the other side now he is going to join the points which he has plotted that gives the direction of the magnetic lines of force which is again from north to south starting from north pole it is showing it is going towards the north south pole now he is going to take two points on this side and two points on this side here two lines on here two lines and since this north pole is facing geographical north we will get the null neutral points along the equatorial line so he will get the neutral points somewhere here and here so the, we will see first how to locate the neutral points when he starts the magnetic needle at this point and slowly move the magnetic needle at one point he will, it is noticed that the needle does not deflect at all that point is the neutral point at this point he has obtained the neutral point because when when we start from this point when we slowly move the magnet the, this side what we observe is at one particular point the magnetic needle is turning in the opposite direction that is to show we have that is to show that there is no deflection there so this point is what is called the neutral point or null point of this particular bar magnet now what is this null point i will explain at every point on the magnetic field um, field lines of force the earth's magnetic horizontal component of earth's magnetic field is also acting so at these neutral points the magnetic induction due to this bar magnet is cancelled out by the magnetic induction due to the earth's horizontal component of magnetic induction so at these points the horizontal uh, component of magnetic induction of the earth is nullified by the magnetic induction of this particular bar magnet so we get the null points on the equatorial line similarly he will show that there is a neutral point on other side also at that point which is now drawing the magnetic needle has no deflection so at that point we have located another neutral point or null point he is going to plot few more lines of force let us see how he is doing
No, on this side. On this side too, similar lines are drawn. Now we have drawn a few lines and uh, finally how it looks uh, will be shown to you. So now uh, we have in this experiment we have placed north pole of the bar magnet facing geographical north. Now when we reverse the direction that is when we place the south pole facing north pole again we have to follow the same method but the, uh, but the null points or neutral points will be along the axial line that also we will uh, same procedure is adopted for that also and that also will be shown to you on the blackboard. So we conclude the experiment by saying that we have located the neutral points for uh, north pole of the bar magnet facing geographical north and also we have plotted the magnetic lines of force. With this experiment we can compute magnetic moment m, we can compute the magnetic intensity at a point and we can also compute the pole strength of the magnet. So these three are again related by formulas which all those details are shown now. So we can compute the, uh, if we know the uh, horizontal component of uh, Earth's magnetic field at a particular place, we can find out the magnetic moment of the bar magnet by the calculation shown to you now. And uh, one more thing is, what is the importance of this experiment? We can find out the magnetic induction due to this bar magnet and uh, if, we, if we know the magnetic moment of the bar magnet, we can find out the horizontal component of Earth's magnetic induction which is a constant for a given place. So thank you students, I think you enjoyed the experiment and uh, we will come back to you with one more experiment.